Let's turn to that Kilpatrick Civic Fund that we've been talking about. Its mission is to help the city. Well, the feds say it's been helping the Kilpatricks. The seven Action News investigators were first to expose this fund, and investigator Ross Jones is here now. And Ross, what did the feds lay out today on this? Stephen, they say the Kilpatricks used the Civic Fund to pay for Kwame Kilpatrick's political research that helped him get elected. But as we've reported time and time again, that's not all it's been paying for. How can a five-star resort along California's coast help improve the lives of Detroiters? Well, the feds would like to know, too. In his second term as mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick spent more than $8,600 here at the five-star La Costa Resort. But the money wasn't his. It was supposed to help some of you. It came from his nonprofit, tax exempt Kilpatrick Civic Fund, founded to help improve Detroit. The whole Kilpatrick family made the trip. So many members, in fact, that they needed a second room. Two in room 802, four in room 806. The almost $9,000 trip paid for a week long stay in the California sunshine that the mayor's spokesman at the time called a personal trip. But when we obtained the hotel bill, five pages in all, that story changed. This trip was to pay for fundraising out uh, in California. That was Civic Fund attorney William Phillips defending the payments in 2007. Later on next week, though, he may testify as a government witness in this case. That's not all the Civic Fund's been paying for, either. Today in court, government lawyers said it paid almost $36,000 for Kilpatrick political research in 2001, a claim that directly contradicted what Kilpatrick himself said in a debate on Channel 7. We haven't used one penny one penny of the civic fund in this campaign because it's not allowed by law. Political research coordinator John Godoff testified today that the fund paid his company almost $22,000 for a 20-minute phone survey asking voters what they thought of Kilpatrick. The research sought to find out what Kilpatrick's biggest negatives were if voters were turned off by his age or his family. The civic fund also shelled out another 14 grand for a focus group quizzing undecided voters about what issues mattered most to them. Now, Kilpatrick's lawyer Jim Thomas said that research was really an investment in Detroit, the way to find out what issues mattered most to residents. But Godoff disagreed. He said his client wasn't the city. It was Kilpatrick for mayor. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.